Family first, family first, most important on this earth. Family first, family first, most important on this earth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a special guest today, my handsome fiance. Hey guys, I'm Tolu. And our beautiful little angel is here chilling with us so we can make this video for you guys. Um, today's video is going to be all about tips and advice for new parents. We sat together, well we actually walked around together and we came up with 10 um, little tidbits and pieces of advice for new parents out there. Like stuff that we feel like will help. Um, you guys out and stuff that we wish like we had heard when we were starting off just recently with Zai You know, he's about to be seven months and in those seven mm. months we've learned a lot. So let's just go right into it Jump into it. All right. So well, he's nice and calm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first thing um, we just I have to go off the list we made the first thing is to Get as much sleep as you can before the baby gets here. Definitely. And like we heard this a lot, right? So much. Um, we heard this a lot. Every it was almost like the running joke. Everyone was always saying, "Make sure you get sleep. Make sure you get sleep." And, and we were always like, "Okay, sure. we get it. We're gonna have a baby. Yeah. What's new? Like, stop saying that." But it's true. Like, before your little one arrives, you should really be getting as much sleep as you can. Like, take as many naps as you want. And like people would tell us, like, "You guys sleep too much." And, at, for a while, I was like, yeah, I'm sleeping too much. But no, you're not sleeping too much. You need all of that sleep because you're not going to get any sleep once your baby gets here. Like, especially in the newborn. It goes out right? the window. It just is like, right. what sleep? Sleep where? Right. So, right? That's a good point. That's a good point. Say. So, yeah. Get okay. your sleep, guys. Please. And then second is... Food for, prep. Yeah. And... Okay. So, when we say food prep and also like laundry service prep, basically. So... What we're saying is, obviously, when you have a baby, time is really limited. You're not going to have a lot of time to do stuff. And especially in those really early newborn days. If you're by yourself. if you're Especially if you don't have, like, family. Family. Like us. Like, we don't have a lot of immediate family around. Like, his mom does live here, but, but she, she works. a lot. And um, travels a lot. Exactly. My brother, he lives in, he's a basketball player in Chile. Um, his brother plays professional, plays professional basketball, basketball overseas. We don't really have like but I have immediate family. family. Like those are the only two like family members we have here. All my family is like back home in Texas, so um, you can't really have that help. A lot of people have like their friends come over and cook for them, their moms come over and cook for them, whatever. We didn't really have that, so um, just to make it easier for you as a new parent, instead of just ordering out junk food and eating fast food, there's a lot of like healthy meal delivery services out there that deliver to your door fresh ingredients fresh products fresh food um like hungry root um i will link it below and um also like ordering your groceries on amazon prime mm -hmm. um amazon whole fresh. foods delivers amazon fresh whole foods delivers there's a lot of grocery stores that uh, deliver to you i'm not sure wegman's um, yeah also, we there's a store here called wegman's i know in texas and southern like kroger delivers a lot of stores, Walmart has delivery services. You can order your groceries online, have it shipped to you, so take the stress out. Mm -hmm. And if you're too tired to cook, that's when you can order, like, something as Hungry Root. They offer you, like, fresh, healthy um, products that you can just easily um, make. And then another one is called Vistro. They have um, vegan, plant-based, friendly options that you can just pop in the oven. I'm hungry man for vegans, pretty much. Exactly. And then um, laundry services. If you have a laundromat nearby where you can drop your laundry off, you love your chew toy? Mm -hmm. You can drop your laundry off and have them wash and fold your clothes for you. Even some laundromats, even like the one you found, right? They yeah. come to you. And they exclusively do pick up uh, drop off services. Yeah, they'll so. pick up your laundry and then fold it, return it, and bring it back. You don't even have to leave your house. Mm -hmm. And then there's companies that are like on your phone, like apps that you could have to like have come to you and like uh, pick up your like laundry cleanly, cleanly. yeah cleanly they can come pick up your laundry and all that yeah. stuff Ooh, you like that one <laughs> and then third um that we have on here is to do research but don't over research i'm a big person on over researching she over -re she googles <laughs> any and everything so there's a lot of information out there guys and it's easy to overwhelm yourself um with uh all the information that we have. Yes, it's a blessing that we're in information age, but it comes with a curse, and the curse is who do you listen to? Yeah, you don't want to like stress yourself out. Like, look stuff up. Obviously, if you have a question, like Google will be your best friend, especially like 
w with your first baby, you're gonna be like, hey Siri, like how do you do this? How do you do that? Like whatever. We did that all the time. We still do it. I'm still asking Siri questions all the time. But don't like stress yourself out and like overlook stuff and then like, oh my God, what's this and that? Like just take it day by day. Don't like do too much. So don't over research, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and great. he was telling me as we did that, he was like, uh, you should. I was like, take your own advice. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> no, but gotcha. definitely got to over research. <laughs> okay, so fourth one um, would be, you want to say it? Yeah, try to be in the moment as much as you can. Yes, like living in this social media age where yeah. we need to take best pictures and the best, the best video like and oh i gotta capture that moment try as much to be in the moment you know because those are more valuable those are like moments that you can't really share those are the moments that are really yeah. like and especially like with your first child you, you do want to document everything which is fine but don't feel the need to like share everything to social media and like stress yourself out about it either like oh my god i didn't post his first christmas picture oh my god i didn't post the first time we took him to a pumpkin patch like things like that because i i was stressing about christmas this year he was sick so we couldn't sick. take we his couldn't picture with santa and i was like oh my god i can't post his picture with santa claus and he was like why do you care I about relax, posting know? a picture with santa claus on instagram he was, was sick yeah. he had a fever so we're you know just be so in the yeah, moment. be in the moment and try to like understand that social media is social media and it doesn't need to rule your life with a baby and you being being first time parents, you already have so much on your plate. Don't overstress about that and take away from enjoying moments in real life, IRL, with your family. Okay. All right. next. And next, so this is something that applies to before the baby gets here. Um, well, not before, sorry. Um, before you bring your baby home, you're in the hospital, you just gave birth. Um, they're going to take such good care of you in the hospital, mom, and obviously a baby because you guys are like. Just the most fresh into the world. He's like, he doesn't exist. They do not care Fathers, about that. Fathers, <laughs> I'm letting you know right now, you do not exist in the hospital after birth. You're literally... You exist for them to tell you, like, make sure you help mom. You don't... Ex <laughs> so when he's not getting attention, he, like, he does gags himself. Gag. Look. Bye-bye, Look, right here. you're here. You're here. Give him, anyway, give him so advice. this tip is to bring prepared meals for... Snacks. Yeah, or snacks for your um, partner in the hospital. Bring some money... Yeah, uh, for like vending machines, vending machines or, or just restaurants, restaurants around, around the area. Or like Uber, mm -hmm. Grubhub, whatever, Seamless. If you're going to order some food. They do not give meals for the dad in the hospital. They provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the mom and like whatever drinks, the snacks. Fathers, you're going to have to figure it out. Yeah, and he was lucky enough. They liked this little charismatic I kind of, charismatic I, I, I finessed a little bit. <laughs> um, I was able to, you know, get a few meals. Not breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but lunch here breakfast over there you know yeah. little by little but you know if the staff likes you it's always a plus <laughs> they like they like and him. they like them get what you want when people like it. <laughs> so yeah get meals for dad All okay right. next is swaddle 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 and white noise that's literally the first few months that's the that's the newborn stage dads take that advice really like when at when Try and learn how to swaddle from the nurses in there, like literally. Yeah, like really, because they're they're gonna show you and just you. like before you leave, like just be like, can you show me again? Like again, make, make sure, sure you, you have the swaddle you know, down. Like, that you that technique. Burrito wrap that baby. That, like. that technique will help you sleep well, help the baby sleep well. Yeah. The, the, the better you you know you could the better you swaddle, uh, the more comfortable the baby. Yeah, are they, yeah, because it mimics like how comfortable they were in the womb, and and then with swaddling white noise is key like mm -hmm. to get your baby to go to sleep to get them to calm down zion was like really colicky like his first like three months so like white noise was our key to get him to just chill out and soothe him and definitely yeah and you don't need a white noise machine yeah you don't need you to can, waste your um, money yeah don't waste your money you can use your phone um yeah they have white noise playlists on spotify mm -hmm. you know that just cuts costs just just use your phone learn how to swallow. and we even like we'll have the we have the amazon fire stick we'll connect like our phone to the tv to the tv and, and then play white noise on blast perfect okay and then this is also when you're coming back home with baby um it's about you know accepting visitors at your own time um when we first came home with zion a lot of people wanted to actually come to the hospital and see him come over the day we came back come the week of and you know we weren't ready no, i wasn't ready you know, she physically, wasn't ready physically mentally, she was tired emotional. we just went through so much yeah. you go and through it's, a lot. it's okay to say no hey bro like let us you know have our time or hey girl like we'll we'll see you next month just exactly. let us get us don't feel guilty 
Um, right. It's 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 normal. Some people have a lot of people there. Um, some people just it's, it's your own personal you. preferences. Your you're that if you're like I'm cool people coming over then that's you. But for us, for me, I had a really tough delivery. It didn't go as planned for me. So mentally, I wasn't like really there. Zion was also um, he had like a really high belly room count when he was born, and he had to be an incubator, and we had to stay for an extra day. So I wasn't okay no, with that. No, she wasn't. Um, so this also goes into like. Learning, you're gonna like kind of learn who your friends are when you have a baby. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really firm with like either start a business and figure out who your friends are, have a baby and figure out who your friends are. Like you go through such a transitionary period, you're also gonna transition friends out and see like who really is there for you. A lot of people were like offended that they couldn't come over, etc. And like some people like we're not cool with anymore because they just weren't understanding to the fact that like we're new parents things change schedules change it's gonna be about, about your baby's it's nap time about how he's doing how she's it's doing not about your it's not about them anymore it's, it's literally about <laughs> so this just be aware that you're gonna transition like that all right okay and then next is you need to get a really good stroller like oh, this is something you do not want to like don't, skip out on don't be guys. like holding off your, your coin pocket like okay i can't spend money a on a good this stroller. stroller will help you it's key for walks yeah your baby will fall asleep in it if you get a cheaper stroller expect your baby not to be comfortable it's not about it being a cheap stroller it's like you need to get a quality stroller that's durable that's I mean, durable I mean, that's, that's for us good. specifically because we're in new york and yeah. we definitely need um, and then just like in those early days when you're getting back into working out mom like you're gonna start walking just to like get your body into it so those walks are good for your mental they're good for dad you guys like we we talk on our walks and like that's our bonding trip too bonding while he's napping and so we were actually gifted two really amazing strollers one from ergo baby which is also it's a metro stroller which is like for like city um urban areas and then that one was amazing but zai because it was low to the ground, he wasn't really sleeping that well in it. So we were finding like our walks had to be really short. And we realized that this show would be better for maybe he's a little bit older. So we did a photo shoot with this brand, um, Kulugo, and that stroller that they, they gifted us a stroller from the shoot, and we're so thankful for that stroller. Oh my gosh. It is holy grail of stroller. He falls stroller. asleep in that, yeah. he doesn't complain. Um, you definitely want to get. I mean, not that he can't complain, he's a baby, he doesn't talk. <laughs> well, look. When I mean, he's happy, like his energy, his vibe is not hey, complaining. I talked to him, okay? Okay. I, oh, I'm yeah. Saying that he's complaining right here. He's like, hey, <laughs> he just pooped. We gotta change him. Gotta change but him. yeah, um, what he was mentioning to me when we we're coming up with this list is like, what, when I was pregnant and I made my um, registry, yeah. <laughs> um, I had the um, just like, yeah, what, what was the what was the thing called? So when you're pregnant, just, like, just we gotta, we'll edit it out. When I was pregnant and I had my registry, the stroller that I had on there, I was obsessed with it. I don't remember what it was, was uh, the, the bugaboo. Yeah, the bugaboo stroller. Everybody has this in New York. It's really popular. Oh, also the Upa Vista. These are like the stroller brands to go to. Upa baby. Yeah, and those are amazing in their own sense but, but everybody focuses on those because they're really marketed but the kalugo is it's a newer brand and it's a newer younger company and it's um created and owned by a mom and a dad and they just created this perfect stroller you still pooping yeah he's pooping <laughs> and it's amazing so i'm gonna link it below and you guys can check it out the complete stroller kit is amazing because yeah. it comes with it can pieces. be a bassinet that looks when you look for a stroller it should be like a complete kit where it's bassinet style for newborn infancy and then it can fold up and it can get toddler and early, ch early childhood yeah, Baba. And then also getting a, a car seat adapter with a stroller so you can just clip your car seat on there as you're going and not to worry about taking a baby on and off. So all that is key. Get an amazing stroller and a stroller kid, stroller full on, everything. Okay. And next, this is really important. Um, becoming new parents, you go through a lot. Um, just so many changes that you need to really be there for each other and also help each other out equally. Don't just rely on like mom to do everything or dad to do everything. And as moms, like as a new mom, you kind of want to like, you just feel this pressure to like do everything. It's but, okay to, to split the task and yeah. divide it amongst your partner. You know, he's, if I, if and I he's really you, good with you know, that. Yeah. If your partner wants to help you, let him help you. You know, don't, don't, you know, feel that responsibility. Like, no, I'm a mom. I, I should be cleaning the dishes or, oh, I should be. I'll change his, his diaper. diaper. I'll do everything. Like, nah. let dad help out. Let him feel like, you know, he's a part we of the split process up. too. We yeah. split up. Well, Early in the year, uh, when he was a newborn, we split the task. Um, I would change his diapers. Uh, the night she wouldn't wake up, she would just uh, 
feed him. Yeah, like uh, I, he would get up to change his diaper and then give him to me and I would nurse him and then he would help me get him back to sleep and then I would go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things like that, like little things that can help out or like, you know, he handles like um, going to do the laundry for us, making sure that that's taken care of and like helping me on days where I'm like too tired, like, hey, babe, I can't cook today. He'll, you know, get us something to eat, you know, just things like that, like just splitting the tasks, like helping each other out and like just not weighing all of it on your shoulders like you're a team you had a baby together so like you know help each other, help out. Each other out yeah and last <sighs> and this is like just a takeaway from everything yeah, definitely the most important is we'll say it together okay ultimately, ultimately you'll, you'll get, get a lot, lot of advice, advice but, but you decide decide okay you decide as new parents you like decide. what you want to do for your kids like just like we're giving you advice in this video yeah. take it as you want don't take it we took stuff when people you know we were um, waiting for Zai and mm. we decided like what worked for us or what not when but, your baby gets here that's the real when you'll, you'll decide like yeah. what really happens like what really works Ultimately, you'll see you'll, it, 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 yeah so like trust your gut right yes. you say like trust your go gut with trust your, your instincts. instincts yeah yeah and um overall it's up to you and um, and it all work itself out yes it's a journey but it's a beautiful journey mm -hmm. and it's you know, all worth it you know you created a human <laughs> being and you get to raise this human, watch them grow, nurture them, teach them stuff, like just be there for them, be parents, and like just expand your life and just, you know, just keep loving each other, keep growing loving. a happy family. It's just, it's yes. amazing. So, but, uh, good luck to you guys. Good luck, good luck guys. to the new parents, new parents. out there. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Follow me on IG at Alexis Christiana. The song you're hearing in the beginning of this video and at the end is actually by moi. Yep. Family first. He, he did a whole album about our family, and it's just amazing. My favorite song is about our sons called Mount Zion. So, but what you hear on here is called Family First, and it's a fun song about family. And yeah, follow him on IG too at I'm Tulu Adi. I'm gonna put his link below and like a link to his music so you can check it all out. So see you guys in the next video. Bye. bye. Say bye, Zai. Say bye. Say bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. Say bye. No, you look at Mama. Yeah. <laughs> bye.